touching moment shared between William and Charles as Prince Harry cranes his neck to watch. So guys, as we get right into the full story, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. The Prince of Wales pledged loyalty to King Charles in a solemn rite, kneeling to give an oath of allegiance to his father. The monarch appeared moved as he thanked his son. Prince William and his father King Charles shared a special moment during today's coronation while Prince Harry watched on from his seat at Westminster Abbey. The Prince of Wales pledged loyalty to the monarch in a solemn rite, kneeling to give an oath of allegiance to his father. He said, I, William, Prince of Wales, pledge my loyalty to you and faith and truth I will bear unto you as your liege man of life and limb, so help me God. He then stood up, touched the crown, and gave his father a kiss on the cheek. The king appeared to be moved by his son's gestures as he nodded this and said, Amen. The monarch also appeared to say, Thank you, William, as they briefly made eye contact in front of more than 2,000 people. But the language expert Judy James told the mirror that the pair appeared to have made a pact to avoid too much eye contact to avoid Charles being overwhelmed with emotion, she said. Touching body language um, between Charles and William, the two men seem to have made a pact to avoid too much eye contact during the ceremony, possibly because Charles did not, took, did not look in danger of getting overwhelmed with emotion at some point. There was a micro glance as William tied his cape and then we could see William looking away as he did his pledge. Although there was one moment after, the, after that when they met eye contact briefly and we got a look of warmth and gratitude from Charles to his son. Harry did seem to lift his head and crane his neck to watch this bit of the service. The Duke of Sussex took his seat in the third row of the coronation of his father, the king, two rows behind his brother William. Harry, wearing medals pinned to a suit jacket, chatted with his cousin, Princess Beatrice, and her husband, Eduardo Mapelli Mosi, as he entered Westminster Abbey on Saturday in the drizzling rain. He also nodded and smiled to guests as he walked down the nave of the abbey. It is understood the prince wore what he was asked to wear, which consisted of a dark morning suit and tie. However, Harry is a knight commander of the Royal Victorian Order after being made so by the late Queen in 2015. This means he would be entitled to wear the Order's vivid blue mantle. Buckingham Palace had earlier confirmed that Harry and his uncle, the Duke of York, would not have any formal role at that event. They are no longer working royals. For the late Queen's funeral last year, Harry sat in the second row at Westminster Abbey behind Charles. All eyes were on Harry on Saturday as he sat with his relatives in public for the first time since he criticized Charles, the Queen, William and the Princess of Wales in his memoir spare. The Duchess of Sussex had stayed at home in Montecito, California with their children Archie and Lilibet. 